The Expendables 4 ending explained how that character returns the Expendables 4's ending includes a death reversal, a surprise villain reveal, and much more, setting up the franchise for the future and the process. The fourth entry in the franchise shifts the narrative focus completely to Jason Statham's Lee Christmas, as Sylvester Stallone's Barney Ross has an unexpected role compared to previous movies. The plot revolves around the Expendables attempting to take down Rama and stop a nuclear bomb from detonating that would start World War III. They are motivated to do so after Ramat kills Barney Ross and the team's opening missing, which leaves Christmas kicked off the team. The entire lead-up to a potential The Expendables 4 post credit scene takes place aboard an aircraft carrier that houses a nuclear bomb. Gina leads The Expendables aboard the ship only to become prisoners waiting for Christmas to rescue them and help discover the true identity of Ocelot a mysterious villain whom Barney tried to unmask 25 years before. How the Expendables 4 ends allows the movie to bring home all of its main plot threads by revealing the truth about Barney's death, who Ocelot is, the villain's plan, and more. It also means leaving the door open for the franchise to continue. The big moment at the end of The Expendables 4 is the confirmation that Barney Ross' death was fabricated. Audiences are sure to be suspicious of this deadly fate for Sylvester Stallone's character considering how early on it happens in the movie, but the evidence of his demise is abundant. The Expendables team plane crashes without any signs of Barney escaping, and the movie makes the decision to show a burnt body wearing his signature ring still in the cockpit. However, Barney returns to save the day, as he is responsible for killing Ocelot and rescuing Christmas from dying. Questions about how Barney Ross faked his death are directly answered during the final moments of The Expendables 4. He reveals to Christmas that the body that doubled as Barney was none other than Jumbo Shrimp, the man who won Barney's ring in a thumb wrestling contest that Christmas fought at the bar early on in the movie. Barney reveals that he abducted him afterward and stashed him aboard the plane. Jumbo Shrimp is dressed in the typical Expendables attire and wearing Barney's ring as he wakes up with the plane about to crash. Barney parachutes out the plane before the crash and goes off the grid to make his death believable. The other big mystery of The Expendables 4 that is finally answered in the end is who Ocelot really is and what he wants. The reveal brings the truth that Marsh, the CIA agent who worked with Barney years before and brought the group in to take down Ramat, is the villain. Marsh and Barney worked on the original mission 25 years ago that was meant to unveil Ocelot's identity and resulted in everyone from Barney's team dying. He hired The Expendables and accompanied them on the final mission to take down Ramat as a means to blame them for the start of World War III. Marsh's motives in The Expendables 4 as Ocelot are rather straightforward. He believes that World War III is inevitable and knows that someone will profit from it starting. This is why he is eager to detonate the nuclear bomb in Russia and frame America for the incident. Marsh resurfaces as Ocelot after Barney dies because it declassifies a file for the identity of the only man who knew Ocelot's true identity. Marsh poses as Ramat's hostage to get the prisoner out of CIA custody and kills him in the hope of keeping his villain identity under wraps forever. This would have worked if not for Barney faking his death.